Hi. Um, first things first, I have 100 subscribers. Yay! That's really exciting. Um, thanks to everyone that subscribes and watches my videos and comments and things. It's really nice. <coughs> second things. Um, second thing. Um, I haven't done any tutorials <coughs> in ages. That's because um, the weather in Britain has been absolutely atrocious and um, it would be stupid for me to do a tutorial when there's literally the sky is grey and there's no light. I can't get any decent light from anywhere. The, I'm being actually lighted up by a lamp at the moment um, because the sky outside is pretty grey here. So um, I've got a few tutorials up my sleeve that I'm going to try and get on with as soon as we get some kind of sunlight or just a change from rain and blustery days um, but I suppose that's an occupational hazard of autumn and um, third things I finally submitted my research proposal and yeah so hopefully I'll be starting my PhD soon I'm quite excited although I was reading about it um, about what the final year will entail on the internet and um, the the um, oral defence of my thesis where I have to go sit in a room with some very very intelligent people and basically defend myself um, as they try and pick holes in it and that sounds really scary <laughs> um, but never mind I'm I'm sure it'll be fine anyway um, so you will best start practicing calling me doctor for three years time that'll be Dr. Kamilov's Kiwi. Um, but this is going to be a review on oops, bio oil. And the reason I want to do a review on this is because I think it's amazing. Um, and I don't think enough people know about it. I mean, it has had a bit of a hype recently. Um, but I had surgery a while ago and my surgeon recommended this. She actually said you need to go out and buy bio oil to make your scars heal better or when they heal to disappear. So on, on the basis that I was actually recommended this by a surgeon, I, you know, I'm not going to ignore that kind of advice. And um, this is my second bottle of the stuff and I think it's amazing. So, first things first, the packaging. It's pretty unfancy, to be honest. Um, it's a plastic bottle with a plastic lid. And if you look inside, it is a dropper nozzle. Um, I really don't like this packaging, I have to say. Um, the reason being is that I'd much prefer a glass bottle um, because when the oil, if you get oil on this plastic it's much harder to clean than glass and I feel that it gets really greasy really quickly. Um, the other reason I don't like this bottle is because of the dispenser. The hole is pretty big which dispenses a lot of product. You, need, you don't need very much of this product um, because it spreads pretty easily so I don't know why the, the dropper is so big. Not to mention the fact that um, it has this tendency to leak a bit and the oil gets all over the inside of the bottle and the cap and just kind of goes a bit gross. Um, so that needs work, I think. But um, the way that I use this, um, first primarily as a scar treatment, um, it's, it can also be used for stretch marks. Uh, the way that you do it is you apply it topically to this area of scar tissue and you do it twice a day, um, maybe for about three months or more if you want. Um, and what it does is it, I don't know, actually, it does some kind of voodoo and it makes the scars just fade a bit. It doesn't make them disappear, you know, I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, well, you know, it's a miracle in a week they just vanished. They didn't. Um, but they did fade and they did seem a lot less conspicuous after um, prolonged use of bio oil. So I was really, really impressed because actually I was pretty sceptical about this. Um, so the surgeon recommended it and I decided to give it a go. And yeah, benefit the doubt. Prove him wrong. 
Um, the second place that I use this is on my face. Um, during winter, I tend to get really dry patches on my face, as does anyone. I get them here, and between my eyebrows, and on my cheeks. And what I do is, after taking all my makeup off, you know, cleanse and tone, I use the bio oil as a moisturiser and what I'll do is I'll get it on a cotton round or a cotton pad and um, I will wipe it around my face and sometimes I use my fingers to rub it in. Not around the eye area because I don't really want anything that shouldn't be there going in the eye area but just, you know, around the face, general face area. And when I wake up in the morning I'll wash, it, wash my face really thoroughly in the shower and then go through my general skincare routine and I probably do this three times a week during winter. Um, the only thing, the only upshot of this is that you, uh, if you have really nice pillows, probably not a good idea. I mean it does feel greasy on the skin but because I'm going to sleep it's not something that bothers me. I mean I've never used this as a daily moisturiser because my skin is oily combination. Um, but for an overnight treatment I really love it. Um, the other thing I use it for is sh uh, Whoops, got eyeliner on with my hand. Cuticles. Um, I I always get really dry cuticles that um, they get cuts and then all the skin like rips off and they get really painful. So I use this bio oil with a Q-tip uh, just to go around my cuticles and moisturise them, and it works really really well actually. Um, if you can do if you can be bothered, do an overnight treatment. Put put it all over the tips of your fingers and then put gloves on and go to sleep. If you can't be bothered, just do it like me. Just put it on and leave it. Um, you can also use this as a general moisturiser. Some people do use this as a facial moisturiser. I don't. Um, I couldn't. But I also do use this on my eczema. You may have noticed in some videos that I have red patches on my hands. Um, I have these really random patches of eczema and I find that when I'm having a particularly dry um, painful stage, never when it's cracked or open or sore, but when it's dry I use this and it makes them less, it, it makes them less likely to crack, so that's really good. Uh, scent, the scent is not unpleasant, it's kind of like baby oil, a bit more citrusy, slightly lemony scent, but I would prefer it to be non-scented, unscented, sorry. Um, ingredients, there has been a lot of scaremongering about the ingredients of bio oil, uh, not uh, specifically mentioning the fact that it contains mineral oil, which is supposedly a known carcinogen. Um, I don't really pander to scaremongering tactics because I know that, okay, fair enough, if you found out that mineral oil is going to give you cancer, fine, but the majority of cosmetics have something in them which is apparently dangerous. Uh, the shampoo, the hairspray, everything's going to give us cancer, apparently. So until they've got proper scientific evidence, as in more than one study which think which says that it might happen, um, I'm not going to pander to it. So there's something to bear in mind. Um, the price is around seven pounds for sixty milliliters, and this lasts quite a long time. You can use this pretty sparingly. So although it seems expensive uh, at the beginning, it's not too bad, I don't think. Um, alternatives you can use. Um, before this I was using vitamin E oil which uh, is suitable to put on your lips as well because it is suitable for human ingestion. Um, I thought vitamin E oil was really good. Um, I would use the 5000 IU, I think that stands for International Units or something in pharmacology. Um, it's probably about the same price and it has it has more health benefits. It's more of a healthy alternative. This is purely for skin, but vitamin E oil can help you in your internal systems. Um, but uh, I have switched to this for my scars. I do continue to use vitamin E oil on my lips as an intensive treatment, as it's brilliant. But um, yeah, so to sum up, because I'm running out of time, this is amazing and you should probably buy it. That wasn't that wasn't an advert. <laughs> no.